Takeoff checklist, batteries on, brake lock, off, engine one green, engine two green, APU set, volume on, fuel dump off, MFDs set, fuel set, RWRs good, fuel port closed, audio, full volume, MP3 stream, press. Mouth wide open, mouth wide open, mouth wide open like I was at the dentist, mouth wide open. Okay, no MP3 for this one. Leonardo da Vinci said that once you have tasted flight, you will forever walk with your eyes turned skyward. For there you have been, and there you will always long to return. Lance Corporal Johnson just G-locked and pooped himself. Leonardo da Vinci never flew anything, or took a shower, but he may have been onto something. I've played VTOL VR for less than 10 hours, and that number's only going up. Flying a plane in real life makes you throw up. But flying a plane in the metaverse? <laughs> oh, oh man, that feels disgusting. Also makes you throw up. That's how good it is. VTOL VR is a game developed by Boundless Dynamics. It was released in 2017, four years before the metaverse came out. It's crazy how they did that. It's the first game I've ever played that succeeded at being a flight simulator. And it isn't a flight simulator trying to be a game. If you want to learn to fly a real plane, you can spend $10,000 just to have anyone who spent more money tell you why you're not a real pilot. Or play DCS. I can't wait to go back home and see my mom. <laughs> if you want to have fun playing a flight simulator and not read Basic Fighter Maneuvers Flight Training Instructions published by the US military, you should consider giving VTOL a try. It features the MV-22 Osprey, ah oh, shit, hold on. The AV-42 Meat Spray, is a vertical takeoff and landing jump jet, which features a Martin Baker Mark 8 ejection seat, but only for the pilot. The passengers? They're staying for the ride. Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend? No way! The F-45 Alpha is a fifth generation strike fighter aircraft. Its development cost the taxpayers of Love Island $1.7 trillion, or the equivalent cost of 80,000 schools and universal healthcare. But goodness, it sure can fly fast. 0.99. Mach 1, there it is. The F-A-26 Bravo is a twin-engine, multi-role, carrier-based strike fighter. It carries a truly massive explosive payload, but can't hover, and also, had its blueprints stolen by China in real life to develop the J-15. The AH-94 helicopter is available if you buy the DLC, and I didn't buy that. The first time you take off in this game will be catastrophic. Nice, nice. Can we get it before we roll into the grass? Oh, I should probably get flaps. Ooh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, sh the first time you land vertically in this game will be catastrophic. Oh, 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 pull it out of the drink! Come on, baby! <laughs> oh, no, shit. The first time you butter a landing, you'll purchase Wiley X military flight gloves in real life because of how good of a pilot you are. I still don't know how to properly utilize all the MFD screens or the RWR display, but what- oh, what's that? This display is telling me to hit the like and subscribe button. Better do it before it shorts my onboard oxygen generating system. I can guarantee you that you felt less immersion in the oxygen you're currently breathing than the immersion you'll feel flying in VR. You'll make radio calls in the campaign mode. Poopsock 21, 185, Roger. There's nobody else there. They're just computers. But you can't be certain of that. The game's ability to make you feel truly in danger is unparalleled. Especially when you're truly in danger. Arnold, Jesus! The game's first mission asks you to land on top of a skyscraper in the middle of a sprawling metropolis. This is the first time you'll consider the fact that you never did the landing tutorial. Thousands of terrified onlookers flee their skyscraper offices. Your crew chief yells out the open bay door, everything is going to be okay. They can't hear him, but they see a distressed man in camouflage and an aircraft about to Randy Orton Main Street. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Watch out! The first time you're shot down, you'll wallow in self-pity. Oh God! The first time you dodge a missile, you'll be elated. Let's go! Dodged him! The elation won't last long. Oh, that's a lot of flack. That's a lot of flack. Oh no, it took out an engine! <laughs> the combat in this game is terrifying, especially when you have no idea what you're doing. Fox 69. What's rifle? What's the rifle call out? I don't know what Institute of Education you learned in, 
but mine never taught me to dodge a surface-to-air missile. There is perhaps no higher high than to triumph over another human with your wits, your coordination, and your 25mm autocannon. There is perhaps no lower low than to be shot out of the sky by a boat, over and over. The multiplayer is apparently incredible, but I haven't tried it because I've yet to defeat these boats. Hot damn, I really do not have fights. The quick missions present you with endless opportunities to figure out the safe ejection envelope for each aircraft. The community-made content presents a continuously growing base of fun missions and multiple new aircraft. I've never been so terrible at a game and loved it so much. If you want to feel the thrill of dropping a bomb at Mach 1, the sensation of ripping 9 Gs while ripping 1 G, and the creeping development of a Napoleon complex. Well, that seems like an unfair camera cut. You can find VTOL VR on Steam for $30. I'd highly recommend it. If you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you watching. Have yourself an outstanding day. You deserve it. Also, I stream most weeknights on Twitch. Please come shoot me out of the sky.